Do you need a new tool to cut Hot Wheel cars? Don't be like this guy and use the wrong tool for the job. Introducing the new amazing tool, the Jeweler Saw. This amazing saw will cut through wood like it was butter. This amazing tool will satisfy you for all your custom needs. It will cut through a Hot Wheels car before you can say Hot Wheels Customs. Just look at all those shavings that came off of that car. After all that abuse, it is still able to cut through a tomato cleanly. Look at the performance of this amazing tool. What would you expect to pay for this tool? $39.99? No! $29.99? No! For the low, low price of $19.99, this amazing tool can be yours. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I was trying to think of an interesting way to introduce you to the jeweler saw. Yeah, look at all these. This is some cars that I did. I cut this car in half. The previous car, I cut the doors off. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with the jeweler saw. Um, this is a project that's coming up. Uh, T2 Volkswagen. I cut that off with the jeweler saw. And the cool combi, uh, you can cut the rear off just like I did here. It goes through pretty good. It takes a little bit, but it, it cuts through pretty good. And here is that tool, the jeweler saw. Mine I set up a little differently. I put that wing nut on the left side so it wouldn't get in the way of any, any of the cars. So here's that blade. It's a very small blade. They do break. It's very adjustable. You can go down to that small and you can go back to the original size. You know, whatever you need. So it's a really useful tool. Like I said, you can cut that back off. You can cut even the interior. You can cut those panels out. And if you're really good, you can cut the doors out. You can even use it on model kits. It'll go through it pretty quickly. It's, you know, I don't think I used it on here, but I very well could have. It's kind of like a coping saw. It'll go around, you know, curves and all that sort of stuff. And you can certainly use it to cut your interiors. Pretty easy, actually. You can see I cut several of them. Here is a project that may be coming up in the next couple of weeks. I'm debating whether or not to cut this little part off of here. You'll see it better in a second right there. But I would use the jeweler saw to do so. Be very easy to cut that off. And here is another useful tool. This is a Tamiya scriber. For metal, maybe not so much, but you could. You can deepen panel lines if you wanted to, just like you know, shown here. That would work very well. So if you plan to do like a wash, an oil wash, that'll that'll help deepen those lines to fill it much better. But you can actually go through that metal with that tool if you really wanted to. Hot wheel cars are very thin. Well, not really thin, but they're they're very soft. Yeah, it's a really cool tool. I would advise getting that more for modeling. And this tool here, I uh, recently discovered this. It's it's kind of like a chisel, but you can use that to. I would use it on models itself to deepen panel lines, you know, if you had, if you wanted to fill them and make weld seams. But here's the tool that I use, the jeweler saw most often, and here are the cars that I use it for, and those are other tool tools. But I, if you're into doing Hot Wheels Customs, the jeweler saw is your choice. I would definitely get that. Hit that subscribe button, or you're going to miss Wednesday's video, Zombie combi gonna be a small little diorama should be a lot of fun to do all right a big thank you to all my subscribers and i will see you wednesday for zombie combi see you later see you at the next video